In this video, I'm going to discuss the difference between Unity's generic and humanoid animations. And this is part of the mech anim system inside of Unity. Now, the effect that you're going to get with your generic animations is very different to what you'll get with humanoid. Let me just show you an example. So I've created in my animator now the singing animation I had before, but I've added in a walking and then a victory idol one. The issue is very prominent when one animation doesn't end in the same spot as it started. So in this walking, the character is actually going to walk forward and he's going to move in space and therefore he might start here but end here. And I'll show you what happens in just a second. First of all, to determine if you're using generic or humanoid. If you've brought stuff in from Mixamo, it will be generic by default. And you can see that by clicking on one of the animations in the project window and going to the inspector, selecting the rig tab and having a look at the animation type and it will say generic. So let's have a look just how this transition goes. I've still got his singing animation sped up uh, just so we can get through it really quickly. So let's have a look. Now, did you notice what happened there? Is that he walked forward and then after walking had finished, the character actually slid back before the Victory Idol played. So there's this issue where walking ends, Victory Idol wants to start from the character's um, root position. What's happening is that the character itself, if we go to the scene view, is the character has this transform, okay? So the transform is the position or the root position of the character. When you play an animation, if we play it now, if you can watch these numbers up here of his position in space, is that he's obviously moving around, but look at his position. And you can see that in the scene view just lift him up a little bit and we'll play it again. And you can see his position is here. So the animation actually moves him, but it doesn't move him as a game object. So there's this conflict between what his position is and where the animation has made him move to. And so we need to resolve those so that each successive animation will play from the position the animation put him in at the end of the last one. To convert from the generic to the humanoid, you need to select all of the necessary models and animations and change them to humanoid. So first of all, we select JT model itself in the assets directory. And over in the inspector under the rig settings, we change it from generic to humanoid and then click apply. And you need to do that for all of the animations that you have in your animator. So singing, set that to humanoid and then click apply. Walking, which is already set to humanoid, done it before and victory idol, which is set to humanoid as well. Okay, so let's run this and have a look where we're at singing, walking. Right, now you might notice that he doesn't actually go anywhere. What I'm gonna do is actually make this transition back around again to singing. And what's happening is that now the animation is staying on the spot. Now you'll also notice if you have a look at his foot in the walking animation, let's just slow this down to make this 0 0.5, that something weird has happened since we changed it to humanoid. So just watch his foot, this foot here. See how it's a bit funny in that animation? It's not like it was before. And that's because we have to match up the skeleton, I guess the rig that's on the character with each of these humanoids and say which humanoid 
rig we're actually using for that. Okay, so there's two problems here. First of all, he's not moving anywhere, and the second is fixing that funny foot. So the first one to make him actually move in space is to select the model and click on Apply Root Motion. Now when we run it, it will apply the animation's movements as well to the actual game character. And he's just going to keep moving forward, obviously, because it's an offset loop of animation. Right, now the second problem was to stop his foot from going funny. If we have a look at the JT animator, you'll notice besides the controller that we've created, there's also this JT avatar that gets created automatically. And this is basically our rig that's set up on our character. We want to assign that rig to all of those animations. And we can do that by selecting the animation, which is the first one singing. Over in the inspector, there's an avatar definition spot. In there, we change from create from this model to copy from other avatar. And then we use JT's avatar in here. So if you just click the little button next to it, you'll get a list of all of the avatars. Each animation comes with its own, as you can see there, but we want the one that's on the base character. So we apply that to singing. We then do it to the walking animation, which is the one that was really causing all of the problems. And then also to our Victory Idol one at the end. Okay, let's run again and check out that foot to see that it's working much better. Yep, okay, so that's all been fixed now. And he's just going to continue the loop and moving around and doing that animation. Thanks for watching and for more Unity content and tutorials, check out these links.